Quality stocks in the South African market have been driven up to very, very high uh, ratings in, in recent times, driven by the fact that many um, uh, speculators and, and investors, uh, they want to buy quality and there's so little of it around that uh, as a result, supply and demand has driven these things up to very, very high levels. I'm thinking particularly here of companies like Naspers, hugely quality stock, uh, and I'm talking about the retailers as well, specifically. Some of our favourites in the retail sector uh, even although the economic fundamentals for retailers generally not, not looking that great, would be Mr. Price, uh, ShopRite and Woolworths. Uh, Mr. Price, I think, uh, in, a, in a relatively lacklustre economy, benefiting from people down trading, getting a fashion at a relatively cheap price. ShopRite getting an ever-increasing amount of its uh, turnover and earnings coming from Africa, and the weak rand certainly helps there. And then, of course, Woolworths, uh, very much in its own unique space, it's uh, getting the emerging middle class spending uh, more and more of its income on, um, on Woolies goods. That, I think, differentiates Woolies from just about any other retailer out there. Uh, as far as other sectors are concerned, we're still very, very negative on the construction sector. Not convinced that the, the massive government spend that is being touted is actually finding its way into the construction sector. And, and unless until that happens, I think we'll remain fairly negative on that one. Um, we're still relatively negative on the commodity stocks. Uh, as long as uh, economic growth in China remains more subdued than it has been in recent years, I think commodity prices will stay under pressure. So it's perhaps not, not, not the time to get back into commodities just yet. And I think as far as the RAND hedges are concerned, we're still very bullish on those because we do believe that um, there is potential for the RAND to go even lower, from the, even from current uh, depressed levels. So that stocks like BAT, SAB Miller, Aspen, Richmond, uh, all fit that bill. And although expensive, I think probably still have um, significant upside ahead.